Sergio Studios. Get ready for a story arc because it's the Sergio Show. And here's your host, Sergio Dominguez. Yeah, we're back. Yeah, welcome to the Sergio Show. I'm Sergio Dominguez. We're back with a slightly newer set. Yeah, I decided to put a gradient background in the back of my shot just for fun and put the camera slightly closer to me, you know? I actually don't have anything planned, but I did call my friends Juan and Neil to come over here at Sergio Studios and we'll see what we can do and stuff like that. But it's just great to be back and I'm just excited to see you guys again. Now let's get this show started with... Whoa, whoa wait, what's going on? A very special friend who wants revenge. Okay, why? Why? Because you rejected me. Who are you? Me? Well, I'm none other than... Er... Er... er <coughs> Melon's drawing of Sergio! Really? R really? R really? 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 <sighs> really? Really? Uh, really? Oh yeah, I've been waiting for quite a while for my revenge, and today's the day. Okay, um, uh, why? Oh, okay, glad you asked. Let me tell you how this came to be. It started when I first came to life. From there, I was so happy to be alive. But then I realized I had no purpose in my life. I was brought to life with animation, and I didn't know what to do. But then my creator Madeline gave my life meaning by using me to help her with our homework and stuff. It wasn't that bad. At least I had something to do. But all of a sudden, you came back to me and told me that I could host the first minute or so of your show. And it was the happiest moment of my life. Until you kicked me out of your desk, so I left. What's worse is that Melon got a makeover and didn't need me anymore. I was alone, and I had no purpose in my life. That is, until you took it away from me, leaving me to rot in the alleys of Toon City. I got so mad, all I wanted to do was plot revenge against you and this whole town. So I devised a simple thought out plan of revenge. Pretty soon it was all done, but how would I make it happen? I didn't have any money. How can I make my revenge plan possible? That's when I found out that there's another person with money and power that hates you just as much as I do. A certain social network sends his regards, along with an interest in my plan, and some tools from his awesome resources to make my plan possible. Do you want to hear my plan? Oh goody, yes please. That way, I can destroy the plan before you get a chance to do it! Okay, my plan is for me to travel back in time using a time travel watch to the very first episode of the Sergio Show and stop you from ever making the Sergio Show! But before I do that, me and the certain social network both agree I don't look like I have the best condition to do so. So the package that the certain social network gave me included a special serum that came from its awesome resources that will guarantee me not only to look better than ever, but powerful enough to defeat you.
Ladies and gentlemen, I am proud to present the new and improved evil Sergio Dominguez. <laughs> so, okay, I got a bunch of things to say about this whole thing. First, a time machine watch, really? Second, you were alive during an episode of my show. So technically, if you stopped me in the first episode, then you would cease to exist. Third, you just look like me but with darker clothing. Fourth, you couldn't think of any other places to stop me. Fifth, why don't you just kill me instead of stopping me from doing the show? Sixth, this plot has been used a couple different times in other TV shows. Okay, the questions I only care enough to answer are, the first episode just sounds right to time travel to, and with this time travel watch, it will prevent me from getting wiped out of existence. And lastly, the reason I won't past kill you is because I'd rather see you suffer having an unaccomplished dream than just another dead cartoon on the floor. Okay, I think we're ready to go start the evil plan. Wait, stop! I gotta say something. Ah, uh, what? I just want to say, I'm sorry. I should have known better than to treat myself that way. But you should also know better than to never act like this. Evil or not, you're Sergio Dominguez, and I know that you're better than this. You're just doing this because you're mad at me, and I know you'll get over it. Please, don't do it. Oh my god, you're right. This isn't me. S sorry you guys for putting you through all of this. Well, I guess I better go call this whole plan off. Uh, are you okay? I don't know what's going on. Oh, now it's a good time to read that note that the certain social network gave me to read once I started to feel funny after I injected myself. Okay. Dear fake Sergio, I had a good feeling you weren't going to pull this through, so I added a little something extra to the serum. What, you may ask? You'll know once you'll feel it. Sincerely, a certain social network. Huh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Me! You gotta fight it! French deal just happened? Oh no, wait, I know what happened. The other me just told myself. He became supernaturally evil, I guess, and now he's gonna do that evil plan of stopping me from ever making my first episode of the show! Yeah! Uh, 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 oh my god, I gotta, I gotta stop him! Wait, since he's starting his plan in the past, wouldn't things start disappearing right now? That doesn't matter. Hey, Juan. Hey, Serge. Anyways, what matters is that you got to go back in time to stop him before things start not existing right now. You got that, Serge? Oh, okay, that's fine. I got it all under control. We'll just go to my time travel room and I'll travel to the past and kill him. You can't do that, Serge! Hey, Neil. Hey, Serge, no way. If you try to kill him, you might accidentally alter the timeline or something. But that doesn't kind of make any sense, but okay, fine, I won't kill him. Just bring him back here, which won't be that big of a deal. As long as I have my new time machine in my time travel room, then everything will be... Uh, 
Aww. Oh yeah, that's right. I used it last time. <laughs> oh, this is bad. What am I gonna do? But, well, don't you have to go back in your time machine or something? And why the hell don't I get any more screen time on this show anyway, Serge? No. All I have is a box filled with broken parts from previous time machines that I used in the past. The only thing I can do is build a new time machine out of these pieces using an instruction sheet and this printout that I got from a time machine website. But it's no use. I can't build a new time machine by myself. I don't have enough time for it. I failed. Don't worry, Serge. We'll help you. Really? Me too, buddy. I'd be glad to help. Oh, thanks. Okay, you guys. Let's get started with a building a time machine teamwork montage. Yay! Well, judging by the looks at the montage, that the time machine is complete. Wow, that actually looks pretty cool. Well, here goes nothing. Just thanks for all the help. Yeah, it works! Let's begin with the show with, uh, uh, um, well, uh, 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 well, with, um, uh, it's, uh, hmm, hmm, it, well, uh, uh oh. Oh no. I don't know how to start my own show! Oh no, I need help. I need help. Perhaps I can help. What? Hey, help! Who? What? Uh. Oh god. Please don't say what I think you're gonna say. Uh, 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 gotta go faster to the past. Come on, Luna. I'm you from the future. Oh, cool! I knew it! So, how are you gonna help me? Here's the best way I can help you. Quit! Wh what What? Really? Why? Sergio, all I can say about this show, it has brought us nothing but pain. It's nothing but a waste of time in my life. But... But I have bigger plans in mind. Maybe this will bring me an audience. You have no audience. People just keep hating your show. But what about my passion for animation? What about my dream of becoming a famous cartoonist? The worst thing you've ever done in your life. Sergio, believe it or not, but I'm here to save you. And for you to truly have a great rest of your life is to end this show before it begins. Ah, <sighs> okay. I get it. Well, maybe this whole idea was stupid, and just not worth the time and effort in making. <laughs> Why is it taking so long just to go back six years? Well, I guess I better pull the plug on this already failed series. I would like to see how it would turn out.
I'll tell you how it would turn out. A disaster. <sighs> if it's for the best. Evil me, stop right now! Huh? Oh, okay, that was convenient. <sighs> hey, what the heck is going on? Oh, uh, how can I explain this? It's those things in time travel shows where I can't give any of this away about the future because it can cause a whole time paradox and bad stuff like that, you know, I just can't tell you. Oh wait, won't this moment affect me for the rest of my life? By remembering this, causing you to see this whole thing coming? Hmm, you got a point. Tell me, what are you going to do after filming this video? Oh, uh, well, after this, I'm going to edit it along with cutting this scene out. And once I'm done, I'm going to watch a bunch of animated cartoons. Th there we go. That makes so much sense why this whole moment is such a faint blur to me. Well, you go do that, and I'm done here. So I will see you later eventually by looking in the mirror in my present time. See ya. Wait! You said I should cancel my show because it was a waste of my life. Do... Uh, should I give up on my dream? Ah, <sighs> look. You gotta take my word for it. And believe me, that it wasn't me that just spoke to you like that. Uh, okay. I believe you, I guess. But I will say this. Sergio Dominguez, you're going to have a lot of fun making this show. No matter how many people love or hate you for this. You're going to love doing this. So don't give up. Because it's something you're passionate about. Animation. Thank you. You're welcome. See ya. Hey, Sergio. Have an animated day. I know. I made it! What? No! Well, he fell for it. Now I can take my evil plan into its grand finale. <laughs> That was a close one. All those years of my animation work would have been gone. Even though it caused him to not exist anymore, he was somehow technically prepared to still keep existing. Huh. He did give up a little too easily, didn't he? Oh well, time to go back to my show. <coughs> <laughs> you really thought I gave up that easily? Not only that, but you really thought that's the only plan I had in mind? But really, I should thank you, because by preventing my first plan, you just started my plan B. So don't worry about your pretty fat head, Sergio. Because I have a lot more tricks up my sleeve for you. Anyway, gotta get off your time machine because it's breaking so far to the point where it's gonna pass your destination. Anyway, toodles! Uh-oh. I hope it stops someone.
by traveling back in time before that episode would start filming. Okay, now the pressure buttons are here, and uh, oh, damn it, not about to take me that far back. Okay, how about this much of the time? What? No? Oh, well, how about uh, this much of the time back? Ah, uh, uh, no. Jeez. With whatever power I have left, how far back can I go? Oh, let's see. Oh, just ten minutes after I started time traveling in that episode. Okay, oh, that's fine. Okay, let's get back in time and get out of this mysterious random place. Yeah, I made it! Even when the time machine disintegrated through the time stream through some technical reason that I can't really explain right now. It also sent me to a specific location that requested that I know I'm in. The Sergio Show Fan Art Room! It's a secretly hidden room in Sergio Studios where I place a lot of the fans' fan art in this very room. The reason why I brought you here is because I have something here that is not only what I was going to show you in the end of that episode, but it will help me save the day. And it's... The Epic Animation Suit. It's a full body armor suit with weapons specifically themed to animation. Starting with a full body animation desk armor. Second is the animation pencil sword. Third is the animation pen laser gun. And fourth is the animation eraser shield. Yeah, it's a, it's a shield. It doesn't have the ability to actually erase like real things, you know. I wish it could, but it couldn't. Sorry. But that's not all. The EAS is also equipped with a bunch of generic weapons that I even lost track of. Yeah, sorry. My uncle was one of the people other than me who built this thing. So don't get surprised if any random weapons pop out. You know, just go with it if you can, please. Okay, I don't have too much time. I better get into the EAS and get started. Okay, perfect. All set. Now for most of you who are wondering why I put a dangerous machine in a fan art room instead of a laboratory or something. Well, glad you asked. It's because it's a place where I power up my epic animation suit. So yeah, you heard it right, folks. Through the power of your fandom, it's going to be used to fully prepare this EAS. Where did it come from, or how is it possible? I don't know. I was setting up this room until I saw one of the fan arts had this magical glow to it. I did a little bit of research and checked it out, and it turns out I can use it to power my EAS. So yeah, that's all I got. Anyway, let's begin!
Hello and welcome back to the Sergio Show with Evil Sergio Dominguez. We're going to end this episode with a bang, and I mean literally a big bang. So big, where it would take a bomb this big to wipe out not only this show studio, but everyone around Toon City. All in about 10 minutes or so. So sit tight as you wait for your doom. You know, you're only going to make this worse for yourself. Oh really? How so? I'm one of Sergio's best friends, and as a friend, I know he'll never give up on all of us. Yeah! Ah, as convincing as both of you guys sound, if Sergio does get back, I do have some tricks up my sleeve if he does get too close. You guys already know that, that's why you didn't call the cops or escape. As for now, this bomb is gonna go kablooey in 10 minutes, starting now. In the meantime, I'm gonna jetpack myself out just in time to see the explosion. Also, only have enough jetpack fuel to escape through Toon City and nothing more. Just so you guys know. That sounds insane! And pointless! But Sergio's gonna put an end to this. That I know for sure. Sergio will come back to kick your... But I have faith that Sergio is going to take you down. The Sergio is going to make you wish you were never born as a drawing. You picked the wrong cartoon character. Sergio is going to open up a can of whoop ass and put you inside it. Quiet, yo. I am just a couple of steps around that guy so he doesn't stand a chance. Besides, he doesn't have anything that I can't handle. Oh man, I just realized I crashed my own wall! Well, well, looks like someone's back and brought a brand new toy to show us. Evil Sergio, stop your plan at once or else. Oh, I'm afraid it won't happen because this bomb is going to wipe out the whole city and I'm going to get out of here in just a moment. <gasps> that plan sounds similar to every movie with this climax ever. Well, okay, I guess I'm going to use some animated force. Oh, no, 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 no. It's not going to be that simple. You see, I still have this time travel watch, and I can easily alter time where this moment will never happen. Oh, uh, what, what? What did you say about time travel watch? What, what, what did you say about altering time again? Uh, wh what did you say about a time travel watch altering time? What, what, what? Now, give me that bomb. Uh, uh, no matter. I got one more trick up my sleeve. If you want to get to this bomb, you gotta go through me. <sighs> Even though it took me a month to put this whole thing together with a little help from my uncle, I've tested this for three days. I'm not even sure if these weapons completely work. Heck, I barely remember most of the stuff that's in this suit. But, you came into my studio home, messed with my show, friends, and fans. And with my passion for animation, all I can say is this. This suit can't fly. Also, time to bring the Sergio Smackdown.
just give up, Sergio. This is a waste of your life. You clearly don't understand what it's like to be passionate about something. I've done this for so long because I love animation and I will never give up as long as I believe in it! Aw, <sighs> oh, now that's just jumping the shark! like time is running out for you. I would like to kill you, but you know, I gotta go see the blast that will kill you and everyone else around here. So, see ya! <laughs> uh. Hey, Juan! You know that thing I told you you can't do with your hat in the studio? Uh, yeah, Serge. But you said I'm not allowed to do that in your studio, because I might accidentally break something. Do it now! Alright, sir. We're running out of time! What are we going to do? Well, I guess I have no choice. I will have to sacrifice myself. Say what? Yeah. In order to save thousands, I gotta take this bomb and... Nah, I'm just kidding, buddy. Instead, I'm gonna do this! Now to set this arm to a high-pressure air cannon and... That much pressure should do it. It's a good thing I had that specifically hidden ceiling window installed a month ago. Okay, let me see if this thing works this time. Hmm, any last cheesy action phrase you want to say to me? Have an animated day in hell! <gasps> Ah, that was good. You did it, Serge. You saved us all. You came, kicked some serious ass, and became a hero, man. Great job. Thanks, guys. I really appreciate it. Thank you. But you know, I really couldn't do it without the help of you guys. Also, Serge, do you remember to dispose of the body properly? You bet I have. Isn't it great, Serge? You have your own super suit. You can fight crime, save people, make superhero movies, or, 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 you can do whatever you want because it's the Sergio Show, buddy! Thanks, Juan.
What's up, Animation Buddies? Welcome to this show, The Sergio Show. I'm the cartoon guy, Sergio Dominguez. We got some kind of a show for you today. Let's get this started with... What the heck was that? Oh no. <laughs> huh. It can't be. It just can't be! Oh, great. Someone did take it. I'm... I'm alive. <sighs> What's going on? You work for me now. Well, hi there to you too. Welcome to my lair. Huh. Seems like a freshly closed warehouse. Now how about that proper introduction? Okay, fine. Hey, I'm an a mastermind! I immediately regret asking for an introduction. Uh, I appreciate you somehow giving me a rebirth, but seriously, wh what? I'm a mysterious yet stealthy thief who steals priceless and rare animation artifacts. I brought you back to life because I have a mission for you. You see, I found a random internet forum that somewhere in Toon City, there is a large stock of old rare animation cells from an old-timey long-ago closed-down animation studio. And they say it's located in this place called Sergio Studios. Hmm. Go there, take down you-know-who, and I'll go and steal the hidden animation treasure. Okay, uh... Couple of questions. First, my previous master who made me like this and made me do the previous plan? He gave up on you, so I swept in and took my advantage. Alright. Second, why can't you do this plan by yourself? Because, not to toot my own horn, but I was defeated by that dumbass suit machine thing. Look, having you as a distraction will be a great way for me to get in there properly. You see, I've seen you on the Sergio show. You are really good, and all you need is some help and training. With just you and me, Sergio won't stand a chance. So, what do you say? Hmm, deal. Fantastic. Also, another thing? Yeah, so sorry to make you such a pointless character, but I think it's more unfair to be reborn again only to become someone else's animation puppet. I got this. As for your little reputation of being a priceless animation property thief, I guess I do have a little bit of original Sergio in me. Because it does look like a lifestyle I can get into. <laughs> It's finally ready. The upgrade is complete.
thank you for not smashing into my walls. Look, I don't want to kill you. Thanks to social media and plenty of animation blogs, I know about Anna Mastermind. What I don't know is his motivation to bring you back to life and right here. Uh, hey, why aren't you attacking me once you entered in and before I monologued? Oh, I just wanted to be polite and let you finish talking. Oh, okay, thanks. That's probably my friendly side talking. But my good side wasn't there when you probably killed Anna Mastermind! Okay, first, yes, I did kill him, and B, you killed cartoons too! Hey, I fixed that by altering the space-time continuum! Yeah, whatever. I came here to take what's mine. What? Look, please, just turn yourself in, and we'll try to rehabilitate you, and make you good again. Huh? How does that sound? Oh, I just slightly improved my EAS for safety. So, what do you say? I say, let's take this outside! <laughs> My mommy! Enough! Clearly we're causing too much damage into the city! It's time to finally take this into space! This suit still can't fly, can it? Oh. No. Kill me. You know you want to do it again? No. I won't. Oh wait, and said I'm gonna do this. What? What did you do? Oh, I just locked you into my EAS. I, I can't move. Wait, why didn't you do this earlier? Oh, I first tried to make you peacefully turn in, but you attacked me, and I feel like I didn't have a good opportunity to do this. Look, here he is. You can take him and the suit. Just keep them both safe. Okay, Sergio, we got you covered. 
Thank you. Huh. I wonder what evil Sergio wanted to get from here. Huh. Ah. Oh. What the? Oh. What's with this? Hmm. Looks like a storage crate. But for what? Oh, here's the form about it. <clears throat> this crate holds a collection of animation cells, storyboards, scripts, and recorded material for incomplete rejected concept of what many staff members from that animation studio deems as the worst animated cartoon ever. Wow. Being from the information on this form, the cartoon was made back in the 1930s to 1950s and it was set back when this place was a generic warehouse until it became Sergio Studios. Huh. I'm surprised I didn't see this earlier since I've been living here for a couple of years. Hmm. Old animation material. I want to keep it! But I shouldn't. I should send it back. But to who? This form doesn't have the information on the animation studio. Unless it's in the box. But they ultimately never wanted it, giving it the reason why it's here in the first place. 
I don't know if it's something I should keep. I don't know if it's something I should think more about later. Huh. The worst animated cartoon ever. Is it a short or a full-length feature film? Is it even that bad if it was made in the early 1930s to the 1950s? Especially with all the bad animated content we've seen lately, could this really be bad now? Hmm. I'm asking you to join me. Yeah, I know. I tried my best to show you through hand gestures and stuff, but it seems like you're still confused, so let me just go out and say it, even though I spent all this time trying to be quiet and silent as possible. Ah, sending it to a museum was a great idea. Hopefully nothing bad will happen on the way there.
See that? Yeah, yeah, I did see that. Should, should we call the police? Yes, and we can't. We are two talking cartoon buildings. Oh, uh, do you think a talking cartoon police station saw this? Mm, no. Huh. It's funny that we don't see any cartoon people in Toon City walking around here. Yeah, this place is always empty. Sometimes there are two or three people, but not that much. Yeah. I did it! I finally got my animation artifacts! Uh, oh, this box is gonna have some great things! Uh, what's on this paper? Uh, huh? hmm? Oh! <laughs> Open it. <gasps> oh! <laughs> oh! It smells like garbage. Oh, and it looks even worse than garbage. Beautiful. Hmm. Who says to leave any work unfinished, no matter how bad it is? So let's keep this fair and have this wonderful piece of animation history together, huh? Let's do this. <laughs> Uh-huh. Oh, no. No! But, in a... Oh, great. The box has been stolen! And why would they tell me this? Shouldn't they call the museum? I already sent it. Uh, oh. Well, let me check my EAS. Let's see if I can get it back. Yes, yes, I want my EAS back. What? You can't? It's, it's being held captive, but Evil Sergio's gonna... What? No? Still? No! Ugh. Okay, fine. Oh, God, what's going on? Oh, jeez. Oh, how am I gonna get ready for the next season like this? Oh, uh, I know who stole the box. You wanted to speak to me? I hear you have some things for me. Uh, yes, we have some things for you that will help you stop some upcoming evil on your way. I know I can't hear you, but I still understand you because I can really relate to being timid. Uh, okay. Here are the things we have for you. We get your epic animation soon, and we modified it a little bit. Oh, sweet things! Modified it with what? You, you'll find out about it soon. Now, as for your evil counterpart, we've taken a sample of his DNA with a couple of connections. We created the cure to revert him back to his original state. Wow, that's great! It's also surprising that you figured it out that quick since his backstory is just a crazy manifestation of insane stuff. But this is a world of crazy cartoons, so whatever, that's cool. We found the key ingredient that will revert certain characters that turned evil back to their non-evil. Cells, or some of them are so supernaturally evil that some of them will be subdued. <gasps> oh. We are recently aware about the uh, <clears throat> reindeer sent to some intel from a good buddy at the uh, North Pole. The reindeer got rogue, then became evil, and going over to your grandma, and doing a running over rampage. But Santa did send 
optimize DNA and we can be sure that some of this gaggle will calm him down hard. Good, good. It's about time that reindeer got what's coming to him. He's also become too vicious for his own good. And lastly, we have the coordinates where Evil Sergio is located. And here is the printed documented associated with it. Here you go. Thanks. You know, this kind of job could have been handled by us with our resources, but we tried and failed. We know that this is no more of a job for us to handle, and we don't want to lose any more men. Understood. So, that's all the information that we can give you for now. Are you up for it? Well, no, but I've probably found a way to complete this mission, or stop this guy, or whatever. Evil Sergio will be stopped, and I'm going to need some help. Well, okay. Good luck. And... Go ahead and kick his ass! I will, I will. Hey, we're interrupting the montage to bring up a pointless plot hole. None of you are wondering why this evil vending machine got smaller since the last couple of times you saw him. Well, we have an explanation for that. And it's... Yes. Yes. The awful animated short is complete. Oh, I can't wait to upload this soon. You know, once I get the internet connected without getting caught. So at this point I would do a villain song, but I can't sing for crap, so I'll just monologue for a little bit. You know, I've been brought to life in a very unconventional way, and I've used that gift of life in animated form to do a couple of things. I've failed, i suffered, I've hated, and I've experienced. I even died, then got the chance to be brought back for a second time. And once I was brought back for that second chance of animated life, I knew I just don't want to lose that chance again. So I came back stronger, harder, more furious. This time with a more subtle plan than just altering time or 
blowing up a town. No. This time, I left a couple of dead cartoon bodies. And soon, I will unleash a message. A message proving to the animated universe that you can make a god-awful cartoon. We will send this message. We will prove everyone even if they don't care, which I know they won't. But this will be my moment. This will be Evil Sergio's moment to prove that he's going to do something unbelievably wrong in a pretentious way through creativity and the arts. Yes, this will be my experience moment unleash uploaded to the animated universe. Ah, <laughs> Okay, I'm going to make this quick. Evil version of me has caused too much trouble, and I need to stop him and his little team. But, I don't want to do this alone. So that's why I've recruited you guys. Most of you don't have that much fighting experience, but I trust you guys. I know we can do this together. Juan, Neil, A-A-R-X, and Grandma. Thank you again for helping me. No problem, Serge. We're here to help. You got it, Serge. No problem. Now, A-A-R-X, you know what you personally need to do, right? Okay. So I just want to tell you now is that you were a great robot assistant, and I'm going to miss you. Okay, Grandma. Before we go, I want to quickly say that this is a very dangerous mission. I never want to get you hurt, but I need you right now. And I know you love this, so thank you. Love you, and good luck. Thank you and good luck to all of you. Now let's just do this! Good! The internet's finally connected. Now it's time to upload, and here we go. Huh? And here we are! Welcome to my new home! You just catch me in a great time! I'm doing my evil plan of uploading a cartoon onto the internet. So, how's it going with you? How are you feeling? Look. It's... it's over. The whole thing is over. Hmm? Yeah, it's over. I'm done with everything. With you, I've exhausted all the options that I have at this moment with you. You specifically and personally were a very big mistake. I, I just need to really end this. So me and my team are here to end you guys once and for all. Ha 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 ha. First of all, no, you. And second, you think this is all I got, little bitch? Because I got something else up my animated sleeve. <laughs> Mm. Mm. Oh great, I'm not even that surprised. Yeah, by being on the naughty list and having a connection with an elf or two, I got this big beautiful boy on my side. Yeah, I just don't care anymore. Let's just do this! Juan, Neil, EVM, now!
Okay, Neo. Stunned me. That's all I need. Go on now. On it, Surge. You crippled my hat. You crippled my hat. You crippled my hat. You crippled my hat. My hat's powerless now, you bastard. One catch. The Christmas spirit now, asshole. Ah! Can't reach me now. Oh yeah? Watch this. Yes! Go! Even more! Endless! What the? Oh!
Uh, 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 uh. Okay, I had enough playing around. EVM, let's do this. Shock me up, baby! Surge! Your animated days are numbered. Everybody run! Worked. He's back to the fan art where he started. Surge, is it? Yup. He's turned into a normal vending machine. Finally.
Oh, 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 A A R X. Thank you. We did it, Serge. We stopped the pure evil. Was that cartoon they made ever uploaded? It doesn't matter now. I just want to thank you guys one more time for your help. Come on, let's go home. There we go, a copy of the fan art hanging on the wall where you belong. At least now you won't do anything ridiculously evil from now on. Yeah. And that's all for this episode of The Sergio Show. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Sergio Dominguez saying have an animated day. <laughs>